well, I will leave you be to go and hopefully enjoy your afternoon. So we've had some meetings with Eric, uh, with Eric Johnson about that, and we've actually visited him, and uh, he's the person that will, can help us. Um, As the, in uh, the, the mold. Uh, the, I don't want to call him the mold guy, but um, uh, there's some that comes. Well, he's, he's had some experience, and uh, we always like to gain the experience from the patients. Uh, sometimes they don't use the right scientific terms. Sometimes they get misunderstand some of the scientific background, but you, you, you listen to them, and uh, you, you try to figure out what it is that they're experiencing, and, uh, and, and then take them seriously enough that you need to, if you're going to dismiss it, you should dismiss it because you can't find any evidence, scientific evidence and testing that it's there. So until you do that, you have to listen. Yes. And, and there very well could be. The, 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 the mold um, um, toxins, the mycotoxins that they produce, are unbelievably powerful and very scary. So um, uh, the aflatoxin is the most mutagenic compound known. Mm -hmm. And so they're incredibly powerful. And, and there's a reason that they, they make these things uh, for their own defense. Yes. And they're capable of making very large numbers of things under different circumstances. Yes. It's, it's something that uh, I think needs to be explored. And so far, I don't see anybody really exploring the molds. No.